Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Finally, I've gotten in a Lulu. Now, full transparency, this is not my bag and I didn't purchase this myself. My girlfriend purchased this and she kindly loaned it to me for, for this video so that you guys can see what the Lulu is like. I have to say, on first glance, let me just adjust the strap. So it's got the double strap, which means that you can work crossbody um, like so with a little bit of a handle or on the shoulder. You can also wear it like this um, with the double strap so it's shorter. So depending on what, how you like to wear it. I've just measured it and the base is 27 centimeters. That's from this seam to this seam, but it does kick out a little bit further than that. So just keep that in mind if you're after a particular size. This color is beautiful. It is, looks like it's in a very soft calf skin and the leather color is like it's like a nude, but it's more of a mushroom colored nude. It looks a little bit lighter on screen than it does in reality, but it is gorgeous, guys. They're, this style comes in quite a few colors from memory, like black, gray, there's like a camel, caramel color, and this one. This is gonna be really, really versatile because of the color. I find nudes, they just go with everything. And if you're like me and you wear a lot of black, nudes tend to look really beautiful. This has got the aged gold um, hardware as well. Not super aged, but a little bit aged, and it's actually really nice. I think it looks quite expensive. The YSL here, as well as the Saint Laurent Paris around the holes. The chain is a little bit weighty, really nice pattern to the chain, a classic pattern. And then also the pattern on the bag, which is sort of like, like a chevron, but not quite, because it just sort of goes down in a V. Um, and also just goes in one direction, same with the back. So no back pocket, okay, and just the quilting. The puffiness is quite lovely as well. It's not super puffy. Um, I think the Chanel 19s are probably a little bit more puffier than these. This is a little bit smaller, but I do like the feel of it. When we pop it open, it's got a really nice clasp as well, guys. It's got the Saint Laurent Paris down here on the button and up the top, it's got like a little lip. So which helps you guide the, um, the clip on, which is really lovely. And when you open it up, it's just a very simple opening, but I find the style really interesting and unusual that it's got this curve um, and I think you'll be able to hold a lot more than if you just had it being straight across so that's a plus now with these bags I really do suggest like the 19 that you buy an insert I do have a discount code for Samorga which you'll find in my magazine if you haven't signed up to that and they have nearly every single bag um, that you can possibly imagine and it's super easy to find the inserts which I really really like um, they don't have every bag under the sun but they have the majority and they definitely have the Lulu it's got the Saint Laurent Paris in gold stamping just at the back and there is a black cotton lining and there's also the leather Saint Laurent Paris made in Italy at the back and the zipper, let me just have a little feel here. Zipper is beautiful and buttery, as I would expect it to be. The zipper pull also is a leather tab that says Saint Laurent Paris, which is beautiful. And then on the inside of the pocket, there is a leather tab which basically backs, oh no, it's a separate leather tab that's actually sewn in. So it's not just like a, tag that sits on the side it's actually like a label and it's got the code on it as well um, and made in Italy this bag is gorgeous guys I mean 
Like, if you like the puffy style, it's not for everyone, but if you like the puffy style, I think it'd be great. You can sort of see there, like I'm holding it and it's really, really soft. So you do kind of need an insert to hold its shape. If you don't have like big makeup, you know, toiletry bags and that sort of thing that can hold the shape. Um, I always like an insert anyway, because I find that when they're sitting on the shelf, they still sit really well and they're not going to drop and flop and, you know, get squashed. So there you go. I'm going to show you guys this on the shoulder and show you sort of how it kind of sits on the shoulder with the double strap as well as with the one strap. So it'll be quite long. I'll also show you it crossbody and how it kind of sits on me. This I think is a really perfect size, um, particularly on my frame. Um, so that's crossbody. And I'm also gonna handhold this so that you guys can see it, it's sort of like a clutch. You can't remove the straps, so they will be there, but I think this style is beautiful as a clutch. This style also comes in the stiffer version, so if you don't like the softer style there's also that harder style the stiffer style which is also great I actually think that would be really great long term longevity of those style bags the stiffer kind of styles kind of last for decades and it's a really good investment you know if you're thinking about wanting a forever bag and having it you know for years I remember when I was growing up actually in the 80s, my mother had a Saint Laurent bag. I'm pretty sure it was Saint Laurent. And it was that stiff envelope kind of style. Put a picture on the screen um, of what I remember. And she had that for decades, absolute decades. And I remember thinking, wow, that bag just never looks worn or old or tired. So, you know, if you pick the right style, you could have it for a really long time. In saying that, I do love the puffy style. I've got a lot of the Chanel 19s. I think I've got three now. I did move a couple on. So I find that that style is just so modern, um, which I really like. So you guys know what to do if you want to find out about any of my bags as well as this one. You need to subscribe to my magazine. I've got all the information in there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye for now.